Hello all, in this video we will see GSM based 3 phase motor control board. In our previous video we have seen a single phase motor control. This one is on 3 phase motor control which is built on SIM 800C GSM module. The microcontroller used is Renesas and the relay driver is ULN2003. There are two relays, one for on and another for off. The connectors are all removable type so you can easily uh, screw the wires and then plug it. Out of the two relays, the on relay we are using the common and NO contacts and the off relay we use the common and NC contact. We will see the starter connection later in this video. The connectors are all uh, re removable type so you can easily remove the connectors screw the wires and then plug it back the three pin connector here is the ryb face uh, connector where you will connect the ryb face of the three phase uh, please note uh, there is no we are not using the neutral in uh, any three phase connection only ryb the R and B connection are provided to a separate connector so you get 440 volt at this uh, connector you can connect a transformer uh, like this 0 440 primary and 0 12 volt 1 ampere uh, secondary the primary goes to the 440 volt R B connector the red wire of the transformer and the uh, secondary of the transformer the which gives 0 12 volt is connected to the power power source you can also connect a direct power adapter here uh, at the 12 volt source at the ryb points there are uh, high value resistance 474 resistance and uh, for safety uh, optocouplers are used pc817 optocouplers are used once ryb phase supply is given never touch the board as as is uh, fatal there is a SIM tray on the top of the board. You can use a valid 3G or 4G SIM. Any SIM can be used, but Geo SIM is not supported. Geo SIM is not uh, pure 4G. It is 4G LTE. Place a valid SIM on the correct direction and then slide it to the SIM slot. There is also a dry run protection circuit in the board. At the end of the board, there is a, a connector. Here you can connect two wires and then drop it to the sump of water if it is a sump if there is water in the sump these two wires will form a will give a continuity so that the motor can run if the water level drops below the wires then there will be no continuity and motor will not run otherwise you can provide a loop for this uh, dry run connector this is very important provide a provide the supply to board and then watch out for the network LED. Once the network is received, the network LED will blink slowly, that is once in three seconds, and the second network LED will glow continuously. Now let us give the power again, and watch out the network LED. Uh, the small SMD LED will blink fast initially, initially, and once the network is received, it will blink slowly, and the second network LED will glow steadily. So watch out for the steady LED and then now the board is ready for testing. At this RYB point uh, for testing we are not giving any three phase connection. Now let us uh, uh, send, a, uh, send SMS from our master mobile. Send capital C to the SIM number on the board. You will get a confirmation back that the master number is registered. Suppose you want a second number for uh, testing you send sms to stn followed by the second phone number you will get a confirmation back up to five numbers can be stored like this to know the stored phone numbers send sms spn capital spn you will get back list of uh, stored numbers phone numbers to delete a phone number suppose you want to delete the second number give sms del equal to 2 and then send the SMS. Now the second entry will be deleted. To delete all the entries, send SMS DEL equal to zero. This will delete all the stored numbers. If you delete all the numbers, again you have to send a capital C to register the master number to start testing again. 
to know the status send sms sts you can also send uh, uh, number 7 both will give the same result uh, status uh, reply where message will come back let us study the status now it pump is off and auto mode is off uh, uh, by default auto mode is off if you want to make it on then when power uh, goes off and comes again the relay will be on automatically by default it is off now it is in mode 2 which is three phase disable mode for testing purpose we have made in mode 2 mode 1 is three phase enable without three phase motor uh, that is the relay will not be on and off and then dry run uh, verification is there now it is showing okay date and time also will display now to switch on the motor send sms 1 now the on relay will go on for a moment and then it will go off automatically uh, just like triggering the green button of the uh, starter to switch off the motor send sms 2 the off relay will go on and then go off automatically after a few seconds this is just like pressing the red button of the starter this is how you switch on and off the motor if you send sms 5 the mode will be changed to 1 that is three phase mode now without three phase supply the relays will not be on now for testing we are not given any ryb three phase but we have set the mode to 1 now you send sms 1 no relay will be on and it, uh, you will get back sms that three phase failure is there that is three phase is not ready so in mode 1 without three phase you cannot operate so for testing again you will make it to mode 2 by sending sms 6 send sms 6 uh, the now mode 2 will be config- configured without three phase also you can operate the relays sending 1 will switch on the relay Uh, sending two will switch off the pump in the confirmation message you get uh, whether the pump is on or off as well as the dry run is okay or not now let us see the three phase starter connection the three phase starter looks same as the single phase starter it has two portions one top portion is the oil overload portion and the bottom is the uh, contactor uh, coil portion we do not use neutral wire in three phase connections only ryb the ryb wires are connected to the overload relay at the top at the bottom the contact coil it is printed 440 volt except for this uh, coil this uh, it looks similar to the uh, single phase there are two buttons uh, red button and uh, green button to the bottom of the green button there are two terminals provided these two terminals are normally open terminal when you press the green button this will make and under the red button there are uh, two terminals these are normally closed so when you press the red button it the contact breaks when you press the green button the contact makes red breaks and green makes this is the basic principle of the starter so to one end of the coil the red phase is connected directly to the other end of the coil other phase reaches when you press the green button when you press the green button the green terminal closes and then it comes through the normally closed uh, red button contact and reaches the coil just energizing the coil now let us see how to connect the relay contacts with the starter the on relay we use the common and no the common and no are connected in uh, uh, parallel to the green button for off relay we use the common and nc which is connected in series to the uh, red button red button terminal first let us uh, connect the uh, green button terminal that is on relay on relay contact we use uh, common that is the pole and the normally open these two contacts of the on relay we connect two wires to this terminal and uh, just connect it across that is in parallel to the green button terminal 
no wire to be uh, removed just uh, screw these wires across this across the terminal in parallel to the green button so on relay contact connection is simple let us see the off relay connection now off relay we use the common that is a pole and the nc remove the connector of the uh, off relay contacts connect two wires to this that is we will be using the c and the nc normally closed contact of the off relay that will that should go in series to the red button terminal so uh, in the red button terminal there is already one uh, loop red wire you can see a loop red wire you remove the red wire one terminal of the red wire and connect the one end of the off relay contact here and the other end of the off relay contact will go to the removed portion so now it is uh, off relay contact is connected in series for demo purpose we have connected uh, simply you have to use proper insulation so when red button is pressed the contact uh, breaks here as well as you can uh, switch off by uh, controlling uh, by sending sms also same way you can switch off the uh, motor by sending sms so these are the confirmation sms when three phases present thank you for watching